Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's coffee talk time. Oh my God, I love coffee. It's a sin. It's gotta be a sin. Probably not good. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's a boring, rainy, kind of blah day in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina area where I live. And um, I feel like I need color. I need color on my face. I need something to get through this like hump here because it's not even Wednesday, but I wish it was because then we'd be like halfway done. Um, but it's just a blah day. I, I've been, I've been feeling all the feelings lately, guys. And I don't know if it's Corona, if it's, um, just being a woman in general, but like, I've just been feeling things and, um, it's weird and also not getting that I've said it in like my videos, but like not getting that regular energy and that ebb and flow and, and just a routine and doing things and, um, you know, play dates and interactions. It just feels so strange. And even when you are out, there's a lot of really nice people. Don't get me wrong. But then there's those people that just kind of look at everybody like they're a disease, you know? And do I blame everybody? No, I understand this is a totally crazy time that we're living in, but it does feel kind of weird. It does. So, um, when I was working at Morphe brushes, um, I was super excited right before I not maybe not right before, but like before I had parted ways, um, I was super excited when I saw that there was going to be a launch and it was for this beautiful girl, Miss Jacqueline Hill. And first of all, I loved this campaign. A lot of the girls that worked there actually dragged it because of the wig. Um, they were like, you know, all that money, like why can't girlfriend, you know, afford a good piece of wig. Um, personally, I loved it and I love her curves. I love the outfit. I loved it. Um, I just thought she was so fire. And here's the palette up here and what it entailed. I'm giving you guys a little behind the scenes info. Um, but here's this gorgeous, stunning look. And I'm, I'm digging this hair, this outfit, jewelry, everything. But that eye look is just dynamite. And it's just so Moroccan summer heat and just fabulosity. And I just really, really fell in love with this campaign. Um, and, you know, it did pretty well. We had definitely, like, each store kind of has its following. Oh, my God, my dogs. Anyway, each store has its, like, following of a certain type of influencer. Because when you think Morphe, obviously you think YouTubers. So, long story short, each store kind of has its own, like, you know, group and gravitation. And there you'll find people that will shop Jacqueline, Jeffrey, James, Oh my God, all the J's, honey. Um, Man East products and then obviously some third party. Now we've got Beauty Bakery and all these really cool brands. Um, but for the most part, you know, stores kind of gravitate in different regions towards different artists. We had a very high percentage of Jaffrey fans um, in our area. And then, of course, there was the Jacqueline, you know, the Jack Pack as well. Um, I personally love her. I've always watched her, enjoyed her. And I think being a Mac girl, you kind of build your connections to people. Like I love Patrick Starr. He's very open, honest about his experience with Mac and things like that. So anyway, I just was super excited for it and I've used it a couple of times. So my palette is not quite fresh new, but, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color story very very Jacqueline it just feels like a mixture of all of her mini palettes and the OG palette obviously these are different shades but it just feels like if you were to marry all of the palettes thus far together you would get this kind of hybrid blend palette so volume two is definitely um, a staple and I was kind of thinking about playing with something like that today because when you feel like you need a little pick-me-up um, <laughs> go home, honey, go OG, go home. So I think that's what I want to do today. Um, I need some color in my life. I feel really like blue today. So let's get into skin and I'm going to try to talk less during that because I do want to try to hurry this along. <laughs> 
But what I will show you is that I'll be using some Danessa Myricks products. This is the beauty oil. This is a hydrating facial oil and the illuminating veil, which you've seen me use. Um, I want really glowy, fresh skin. But I'm also going to mix in this Longwear Dior Forever Foundation as well as the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance. So a um, mixture, of, mixture of things. I just like to cocktail things and try to come up with whatever I can as far as like the best skin stuff for me. also want to give you guys a quick little note to shake the oil if you have this product because it has these beautiful little gold flecks in it and that is going to help give you radiance and luminosity. Now the reason I tend to put a little bit of this pink illuminating veil in the center of my forehead obviously to brighten and highlight underneath the makeup, but I also have a little bit of um, discoloration and hyperpigmentation here. So I find by putting it right in that area, it helps to deflect the light off of it so that even through the foundation, you won't see that dark spot. Cause you all know if you suffer with any type of pigmentation that it can come through makeup. I don't care how full coverage it is, it can happen. So find products that you can tinker to your skin. Um, and that's why I love a lot of Danessa Myricks products because she has all different types of undertones and sheens that you can really kind of custom fit to your skin tone and your undertone. So kudos to Miss Danessa. I love, love, love her, love her products. And I will come in a little bit just so you can see. Obviously I have pores, I have darker under eyes, I have texture wrinkles, but it adds this glow in this luminosity and it just makes you feel really good and pretty. So there, um, really quick la. I feel like I need, I need a little color um, underneath the eyes just to help with some of the darkness. So I'm going to use this Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer from LA Girl Cosmetics. And this is that kind of pinky peach color salmon, if you will. Oh my God. If you guys watch Friends. So yeah, I don't know if you guys watch Friends, but like the episode where Ross is wearing this like pink peach shirt. And everyone's like, oh, Ross, that's such a nice pink shirt. And he's like, <clears throat> salmon. <laughs> oh, man, I just love, oh, my God, I love Friends. And I'm so mad it's not on Netflix. And honestly, I think that's why COVID hit. I'm sure you all have seen that meme floating around um, the Internet. But it's seriously like 2020, the year from hell. We lost Friends on um Netflix and then everyone everything went downhill so yeah I'm just taking a little very smidge light bit of powder to um, tackle this peach corrector I want it to really set it before we go in with the rest of our makeup so that we don't lose the correction that it gave us So I went out and I bought a new Juno and Co sponge. This is a pink velvet microfiber and I love, love, love it. I just love this sponge. I mean, it's $6 at Target and it's so good. But I'm just using this to push the rest of the foundation that I have left on the back of my hand into my face. So again, we don't waste anything. And also in doing that, we are just perfecting it, making sure the skin looks really fresh, clean, glowy. So my concealer today is courtesy of Morphe. It's the Fluidity Concealer. And I really, really love that product because it's like a mixture between like NARS, creamy, and shape tape it's not super drying like shape tape but it's not quite super creamy but it's a really great product and it's super affordable um, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty Tantor light bronzing cream and go ahead and contour
going to take this Morphe 530 brush and go ahead and buff that cream bronzer just to make sure that it's nice and smooth on the skin. Um, whenever you work with something that's deeper than your skin tone, you really want to make sure you blend it well so it doesn't look muddy and disproportioned on your face. So while I blend out my concealer, we can chit chat a little. Um, I know like right now everyone's kind of like binge watching television shows, whether they're new shows or some older favorites. I for one have been kind of all over the place, but um, you know, it based on my schedule and then of course my kids schedules too, because they have their thing they want to do. Um, but I love, love, love This Is Us. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I love it. So, so good. I love the whole storyline. I love the characters. They're just, oh, they're the best. And, um, I may have talked about this in the past because I, I kind of forget. I forget where I am, what year it is, what decade we're in. Like, it's crazy. But I love that show. Um, it focuses around this husband and wife who live, I guess, like in the Pittsburgh area of Pennsylvania. And just your typical kind of like middle class family coming up in the world. Um, and then I think most of their relationship is between like the seventies, eighties and nineties. And then, um, something very tragic happens in the family, which I won't give away if you haven't seen it. But honestly, if you have not seen this show, I think you're living under a rock, honey, because it is just that good. Um, I'm going to add a little Jeffree Star concealer just for a little extra brightening on the inside here. But yeah, it is, it's really great. And it, um, it's about these two individuals, Jack and Rebecca, who meet and fall in love. And there are three children. They have twins, um, Kate and Kevin, and then their adopted son, Randall, who just so happens to be African American. And um, it's just a really beautiful story. And it covers so many different topics and elements in life. And just in love, in happiness, sadness, growth and development, um, you know, racial injustice, sex, everything, you name it, it covers it. Um, you know, and it's just, there's something for everybody in the show, which I think makes it so great because it doesn't matter what your race is, your color, your creed, you know, your orientation, you can find something in the show the happiness there's like little moments of just like gags and quirks and things that make you just crack up and then there's these gut-wrenching awful moments where you are just bawling like a big old baby honey because I know I do um but it's just so good and honestly I think every single actor and actress on that show is just so talented um and they all bring something different to the table and so yeah I, I'm not paid to tell you any of this I have nothing to do with the show I just want you guys to know and share because I personally love it when people share a good story a good show with me So I'm just using the Natasha Denona Sculpting Powder. This is um, number two medium. And I've almost hit pan on it, as you guys can see. I love this powder. Haven't used it in a while, um, and I don't think I've used it on my channel yet. I've been like in the process of trying to organize my beauty table, and it's just not going too well. I realized... I have this problem. It's called, um, I own too much shit. Yeah. First step is admittance, guys, and I am admitting it. I have too much shit. I'm going to grab my little tiny Jeffrey blender here and just gently press that onto the P. Louise base to push it into my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Ben Nye powder on this small sponge and I just want to go ahead and 
set and bake underneath my eyes. All right, time to get on with it and move into eyeshadow. So using a Morphe E27, I'm gonna go into this pretty matte shadow called Certified, and I think it's honestly just a matte white. To me, it looks like it almost has a hint of a pink in it, but again, what do I know? I'm gonna take the color Love Handles, which is this soft kind of like peachy, brown pink and this is on a Sigma E40 just a smaller fluffy blending brush so we keep it nice and soft in the crease but because it is smaller than the Morphe brush it's allowing you to kind of get better placement and not go too high but I am going to drag this out I don't know if you guys have noticed with a lot of the clothing coming out right now, it's a lot of tie dye patterns and it's just so funny because, you know, my husband's just basically like a hippie. He likes to watch his um, documentaries on Woodstock and he follows, you know, all these different kind of jam bands and um, blues and bluegrass and everything you know he's just really always been into that and you know the festival scene and it's just funny seeing a lot of the the culture and the scene come into mainstream now I mean tie-dye has been around forever so obviously like we're not new to it we haven't created it but it is cool seeing it come back around and kind of make its statement again um, and I'm a fan of it I have it on today but we always you know tie-dye and stuff ourselves and and do things like that and now you know you're seeing it pre-made but um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I'm gonna take this really pretty kind of like muted pinky color lolly mama and I'm gonna take that on a 441 and I'm just going to run that into the crease as well in the same kind of motion that we placed that um, Love Handles color. And I'm just going to bring it out, wing it out. Um, one of the artists that I love, Alyssa Marie, she is, I think, a global educator um, and makeup artist for Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know her exact title. I should know it. But I follow her Instagram and I just, I love her personality and just how sweet and kind she is and obviously how talented she is. Um, but I learned so much watching her and honestly, you know, I've been doing makeup kind of my way for a long time. But anytime I can learn tips and tricks from other artists and incorporate it, I love to do that. Um, so she likes to kind of really, you know, over overdo the line um, on the outside corner and it just looks so pretty with her eye shape so I just kind of catered it to mine I do have a little bit of a, a bend in my crease just because you know age gravity all that stuff so I just kind of follow the shape of that and just kind of swoop it out um, but you can see that this you know is really pigmented these shadows so that's another reason that I really love this particular um, palette and just Jacqueline shadows in general. Now I want to actually cool it down a little. I'm going to add therapy sesh to this look and that's this really pretty vibrant purple and it's it's kind of like a neutral but it has a little bit of cool and it has a little bit of warmth in it um, but it it just tones the pink down just slightly and I'm using the same 441 brush. Okay, I'm going to drop down a little bit to a 433 brush and I'm going to mix therapy sesh with not my journey. So it's going to be these two purples here. And I want to start packing this on the outside corner and then into the crease as well. Now I'm going to turn my brush sideways with this particular brush. I love to turn it sideways to blend. Um, cause it just kind of fits that little pocket under my brow bone really well. 
Now going back in with that 441, I'm not gonna add any additional color. I just wanna kind of marry these colors together. So I am just circling and blending. Now using Just Not My Journey, I'm going to go back in again and just press that on the outside corner. And into the crease. And then again, turn your brush and just blend that out so we can deepen it just a little further. Now I wanna add a little bit of warmth and blend into the crease. So I'm gonna take that E40 brush, I'm just gonna slightly clean it off a little bit and grab Positivity, which is this kind of like peachy salmon color. We're back to salmon again, oh my God. We need the salmon in our life, okay? We're gonna pop that here and I'm actually just going to take it and actually blend it all over the colors that we pleased and up into the crease just to kind of diffuse and almost give it like a cloud-like finish. See how it just kind of breaks it up and diffuses it? Hold really far back on your brush and also come into the inside corner and do it. You don't want a whole lot of placement there. So now we have to work on the lower lash line. So to do that, I'm gonna grab this um, Jaclyn Hill JH46 brush, which is a flat kind of smudging brush. And we're gonna go back into Not My Journey, which is that deep dark purple, and start working that into our lower lash line. Kind of press it first. And then I'm just going to take it and drag it up into the crease. Using that same brush, I'm gonna go into Therapy Sesh and kind of go over what we just placed down. Now I'm gonna go into the Sigma E30 and I'm gonna grab Lolly Mama and a little bit of Tipsy Girl, which is like a hot pink color. And I wanna work that into that lower lash line. Now we're gonna go back into that salmon, good old salmon honey positivity. And I'm just gonna use this small, um, very fluffy crease brush. And we're just going to smoke out the lower lash line with that peachy salmon. And then to give it even more of a sunset vibe, we're gonna go into this really pretty color, no joke, which is that beautiful bright yellow on that same fluffy um, crease brush and we're going to bring that down even lower. So I want it to look like when the sun is setting at night and you get all these beautiful colors that you don't normally see up in the sky. Now for the lid I want it to be very like sparkly and shimmery so I have these ColourPop super Super Shock Shadows. That is always a tongue twister for me. Um, but I wanna use these Ultra Glitified Shadows. And so I'm gonna grab that and then um, this other one here, which is Ripple. So we've got Sailor and Ripple, which are both kind of like pinky, purpley, um, even like some kind of hint of turquoise in them. They're just super pretty. I wanna start off with um, Ripple first and I'm gonna use that one just on my finger and press that into kind of the center of the lid. But these, I feel like they really work well with your finger. So you're better off just kind of like emulsifying it in with your finger and then go in with a um, brush. You can use like any type of flat pressing brush just to kind of like detail it and fix it. Um, but because they are super creamy, your finger kind of gives it the best placement and then you can go in with a small brush like an M124 and just kind of perfect the edge here and then clean your finger off and then we're going to use the color um, Sailor which is really pretty pop that on the inside corner and for this one I'm going to also put that on the 124 and we're gonna scoop that up. Then, I'm gonna slightly dampen the brush. And press that on the inside corner. Now I'm gonna go back into that ripple color 
and just kind of bring it in. And if you just go back and forth a little bit with your brush, it kind of merges those colors together. So it just looks like one whole lid color. And it'll just kind of marry all the colors together. So now you're ready for eyeliner. I'm gonna go do eyeliner and brows off camera and then come back and complete the look. Ooh, okay, brows is on. We've got some liner on. Um, but really quickly before I do my mascara and everything, I wanted to um, talk about liner because I don't know about you guys, but I love a good liquid liner. One thing I've noticed, and I don't know if it's because my skin's changing, eyelids change they soften they wrinkle all that good stuff um sometimes you get a little gap in your liner so um i haven't used this in a long time but this is the um cake eyeliner from la mercier this is black ebony and basically with any type of cake liner you're seeing them really make a comeback now you are going to just um dampen them some you want to use water for this i'm just going to quickly use a little bit of this illuminating uh, morphe spray but basically i'm getting a fine point liner the 250-1 from morphe make sure that your brushes wet and that you coat it into the cake liner and get a good amount on there work it in the more you work it in the more um, thick the liner becomes and basically you can go in with this and just kind of gently coat wherever there might be a little bit of a crack in your liner Another thing that I love about this is you can really get into the skin that kind of sits between your lashes. So you can get it into the tight line area. You can use the Laura Mercier brush or a fine point brush like this where you can, like I said, really get into those harder to reach places. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and lashes and then we will do our lips together. Hey guys, so really quickly before lashes, I'm going to go ahead and add some bronzer, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and a Morphe R7, just to add a little bit of warmth back into the face. So using the Jaclyn Hill Mood Light Powder, this is the color Doomy, I'm going to grab an um, E49 brush from Morphe, which is a really nice flat kind of setting brush. And I'm just going to kind of work that powder into the bristles of this brush and gently press it into the skin. This is going to give us a really beautiful soft focus glow. And it's just a great way to add warmth and glow to your cheeks without having to add too much highlighter. Now I could stop with the Jaclyn powder, but come on now, it's YouTube and it's me. So let's add a little more glow using this loose ColourPop um, Sugar Trap Luster Dust. This has a really pretty kind of baby pink lilac vibe to it. And I just think it would look really pretty with the rest of the glow that we have going on. So I'm gonna use a Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics brush and just pop that on. And even though these are, um, super like pigmented they're very subtle like it's it's hard to explain like it's pigmented when you see it in person it's really really glowy but on light in light on camera they're super subtle but I kind of like it because I feel like when you're in person it's like a little extra pop of surprise but then you know if you're in photography you're not so blinding that you're taking away from everybody else in the picture even though come on now that's what we want My lashes today are actually kind of subtle guys and the reason for that is that sometimes you want a lash that really pulls a look together and it's super va va voom and extra but other times you want your shadows to kind of be your statement point and then let your lashes just be a finishing detail um, so these are very close to my natural lashes they have a little bit of density so they're more of a low density lash but they do have a little bit of a flirty kind of flare on the end um, they're by Trinity Lash Co and I forget the style name, but I will link that in the description box for you guys. Uh, but again, these are my friend's uh, lashes. Her name's Sierra. And um, I just love them. I think they're a great, like, kind of everyday lash. And it's also really good, too, based on your eye shape. Um, if you feel like you have the type of eye that needs a little bit of a fan and curl on the ends, 
but maybe less um, like for more of a hooded eye. This is like a really great shape. Um, but yeah, they're just a great way to add a little bit of a statement, but let your eyes do all of the talking. So let's get into our lips really quick. I'm going to be using one of my favorites, Backseat Love from Morphe. And then I picked up another holographic um, lip topper. This is also LA Girl. This color is magical. And this is a super pretty pink, frosty, glittery effect. So I kind of want to do like a soft lip and then have that holographic vibe going on. So let's do that. I just realized this lip liner is peachy pink. So it's salmon. This is my beautiful Zoe girl and we rescued her um, over a year ago and she's my girl and I love her and she came to see what my makeup's all about yes mama I don't know what it is you guys I love my girl my doggy but when she gets excited she farts every time like not like on cue my husband comes home she farts she gets so excited <laughs> and worked up that she just like you know has to let it out and it's just so funny because it is gross but it's so cute and I don't know why she knows that oh my god okay back on track so do you ever just look at your lips and realize like oh my god I need a lip scrub that is how I'm feeling today oh I forgot something I wanted to add a little pop of color so in order to create more of that like sunset vibe um and create like that nighttime sun setting glow. I wanted to put a little bit of eyeliner, like a neon liner in my waterline. So I'm going to use this neon LA Girl Shockwave. And this is the color Fresh. And it's just this really awesome teal color. So I thought that would look kind of cool. So let's try that pretty I love it all right so really quick gonna top this off I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of Morphe gloss as well um because I love this lip trio you guys these icy lips from Morphe are dynamite this is money mommy and we're gonna pop that on first and it goes on with like a pigment but it once you actually like melt it in it's super sheer and then these are like super glowy gloss, so it's like the perfect mix of both because you get the wetness and the ice from the Morphe, but then you get that holographic sheen from the LA Girl. Like, oh, see that? Oh my God. I love it. And this look would not be complete without some type of facial spray, so let's go ahead and do our Luminous Setting Mist from Morphe. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and it is super fun and summery and romantic um, and glowy and dewy and I'm just living for it. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this tutorial. Um, again, using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Can't say enough good about it. I love the Jaclyn palettes. I have her vault. I have the original OG palette. have a lot of her brushes. Um, her own cosmetics line, the Flash palette, and Mood Light powders are my day-to-day -day staples. I love it. Um, and this palette was just really special to me and it was kind of one of my last celebrations with um, Morphe, you know, as a Morphe artist and a Morphe babe. Um, and it's bittersweet for me because it's, you know, again, if you guys saw my previous videos um, and how I used to work for Morphe, it was definitely one of my hands down favorite jobs just with the people that I got to meet um, customer wise and how people would come from all over because Morphe stores are still up and coming. They're still not in every city, every state. So it was really wonderful getting to meet people and um, even like Charlotte's a Mecca for travel. So people would be traveling and say like, oh my God, I need to come see the Morphe store in Charlotte. There's none by me. I'm in Charlotte for business. So like we constantly got to meet different types of people and it was really cool. Um, and even though it sucked, you know, kind of what happened, if you guys want to click on it, um, you can. It, um, it definitely taught me a lot about myself and it taught me a lot about just like dealing with different types of people and different backgrounds and, um, 
learning how to deal with different attitudes and personalities and stuff like that and just a lot as far as like artistry and growing and being comfortable again with color because as you you know mature and your skin changes you kind of get weary or leery I guess more is the word um, of working with color and glitter and all these things and that's what I love about the Morphe name the stores the brand in general is that it's just about being true to yourself and living the best version of you and honestly when you work with these kinds of colors you know, the sky is the limit. And so I hope you guys again enjoyed this video. I will link the product information down below as well as my social media. Um, give it a thumbs up if you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see you guys again really soon.